Mike Narlock from Dome 3D here, and I'm going to be introducing to you today uh, a new plugin that we have for After Effects that will hopefully make your life a bit easier when applying uh, metadata or text information to your Dome Masters. Uh, up until this point in our industry, there's been a lot of discussion on standards and uh, an ongoing conversation. And there's also been discussion about what information do you include on a Dome Master. Uh, different companies and different people have different thoughts on it. And here at Dome 3D, we've tried to automate the process to make it uh, a one-click solution that will put uh, all the information you could hope for on your Dome Master. So let's get started. Uh, here I have uh, uh, After Effects CC open, and I have uh, some footage. I'm going to create a composition, and here you can see the opening scene of one of our rides for Space Park 360 uh, Infinity that will be out later this year. This particular footage is test footage, so we usually render test footage here uh, as a first pass anyway at uh, 550 by 550. Uh, and this happens to be a, a, a series of JPEGs. Now, uh, manually, we can create information for uh, this particular Dome Master. If I was to do this manually, I would uh, create a solid layer. And I'd probably call this Circle Background. And then on this layer, I would apply uh, Circle Mask and invert it. Um, so I have my... Uh, circle around my Dome Master, and then I would start applying information, like maybe the date that I rendered this. Um, put some SEMPTY code up here. Maybe I would uh, type what uh, particular ride this is or what show it's going to. All, all things that can be done manually, they just take time. Uh, so what we've done is automated the process uh, so you can add information to your Dome Master in basically one click. So let me show you what that's like. Let me just clear out some things here. On our website, we're going to make available a um, an archive file, a rare file, called Domaster underscore overlays. Let me just drag this window over here. In that file, you will find that there is uh, a JavaScript file called Domaster overlay and a folder called Dome3D. And what you'll do is you'll uh, take these items and you will extract them into a very specific location on your hard drive. Let me just show you where that's going to go. It's going to be in your root directory, C, uh, Program Files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects CC, Support Files, and Scripts, and then Script UI Panels. And you can already see I have uh, the files here as my Dome 3D folder and my Dome Master Overlay.jsx. Uh, so that's where those files go. And when you install those, or after you install those, and you start up um, uh, After Effects again, Go under the uh, window directory, and you will find you'll have something sitting here called Dome Master Overlay. Uh, click it, and a window will pop up. Now, this is a dockable UI. And what that means is you can run JavaScript files from, from After Effects. Uh, and you can, normally would use file, scripts, run script. Uh, and that'll just bring up a pop-up window, and you'd have to do that every time you wanted to uh, interact with that script. What a dockable UI allows you to do is to take this particular GUI and put it right into your After Effects uh, GUI, and there it will stay. Uh, this particular version of the file, uh, we have various resolutions that it will create Dome Master overlays for, and we also have a help button. And you can see it has various steps, step-by-step -step, uh, procedures for how to apply this particular plugin. I'm going to go through them right now, but this is just there for uh, your information later on. What you need to do in order to use this script is create a composition, which we've already done. And you need two other things to go into your composition. The first thing you need is a company logo. And then you need a show logo. Those two things must be present for this to work. Now, if you are an independent contractor and you don't have a company logo or this is something that you don't quite have your show logo done, you can cr create and put anything in there. If you wanted to just create a black box 
um, and, and put that in there. But there, there needs to be something in, in uh, um, these two slots, uh, item one and item two. And what you do is, in order to apply the overlay, you select your composition, go over to the particular resolution for this Dome Master, and I happen to know this one is 550, and you hit that button. Well, so in our case, we'll hit 550, and you see a bunch of stuff just happened. Uh, it created a bunch of layers, a bunch of information, and stuck it in its own pre-comp, which is nicely labeled here for you, but let's take a look at what it added. In the upper right-hand corner, uh, we have frame size and then the actual size of the Dome Master, which it picks that up automatically. It's 550. Uh, it picks up exactly what type of sequence it is from the footage, in this case JPEG, uh, how long your comp is, it calculates what the frame rate is of your comp, and puts today's date down. And uh, here in Michigan, it is five minutes after midnight, so it just iterated to March 2nd. Lower right-hand corner, uh, it automatically puts in your logo and scales it properly. Uh, dome front is put in so we know where exactly we're looking. Here's our show logo. And in the upper left hand corner we have our SEMTI and the, f the uh, particular frame we're on. So if I iterate this, and push through, you can see everything is animated nicely. Uh, it picks off the exact frame number we're at and the exact SEMTI code. Uh, if something goes wrong and you want to undo, uh, the entire effect is undoable with just hitting Control Z and you go right back to the way things were before. Uh, so it, it is non-destructive in that, in that respect. Let me just reapply that. If you don't like my choices, uh, for instance, uh, different folks have, have uh, different desires for uh, what color the background is, just double click on the pre-comp. And there you'll find everything that was applied uh, to the Dome Master overlay. So if you don't like uh, a gray color for your circle mask, you can uh, double click and change it, or uh, just click on it, go to layer, solid settings, and oh, let's say we want to make it kind of a blue color. And you can make that change, and it automatically will go right back to your Dome Master. Uh, there are some um, features built in to the Dome Master overlay. Uh, if the uh, correct composition isn't selected or a composition isn't selected, it'll warn you that you need to select a proper composition. Uh, if you don't have uh, three items in your composition, you'll recall, just undo here, you need a logo, uh, show logo, and the footage. It'll warn you about that as well. Now, there are only seven options currently, the 550, 1024, 1408, 1536, and so on. Um, we will and can add more as the need arises. Uh, if you have suggestions for improvement for this, feel free to give us a call or, or actually contact us by email, info at dome3d.com, and uh, we'll take a look at it. But hopefully this will help streamline the process of applying information to your Dome Master. Uh, it is an incredibly quick process. It will help you, hopefully, in uh, your ability to organize the uh, different full dome uh, movies that you're creating and hopefully create a, a bit of uh, commonality amongst what information we're all putting on our Dome Masters. Once again, I'm Mike Narlock from Dome 3D. I hope you found this interesting, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.